we've done uh, several different nature trails, nature boardwalks and nature bridges. This bridge is going to be used for pedestrian and just basically a nature trail. As it connects the new School of Education building uh, back to the William and Mary's main campus. All I need is a little slut. It's approximately a quarter of a mile the entire distance, but the bridge itself is about 600 to 650 feet. The tallest point of the bridge will be about 15 feet off the ground. It goes from zero to 15 and then back to zero. We have three different abutments, so it does have a midpoint in it where it, it comes back to the ground and then takes back off. We're driving 25 to 35 to 45 foot pile. We're using 8 by 10 caps and uh, we're going to be using Trek deck board for the decking and then it's going to have a stainless steel handrail. We chose the top down method of construction for our bridge pathway out here mainly because of the minimal impact it was going to have on the wetlands. Top down means that nothing touches the ground as far as equipment goes except for the people that's building the bridge and the only thing you have down there is foot traffic. So we don't really disturb any type of nature, any type of wildlife, any type of woods, greenage, anything like that. The specialty of nature bridges is decorative woodwork. You know, anything that has anything to do with decorative wood on the outdoors, handrails, bridges, piers, docks, you name it, if it can be built out of wood outside, we can do it. We do our best. Everything looks good when we leave. We're proud of what we do. We chose Nature Bridges for this project because they helped us during pre the pre-construction phase of the project, designing the bridge to work with our project constraints. And um, at the end of the day, they were the best value for the owner to build this project.